Hey, welcome back to Bubba's Home Improvement Tips, Home Maintenance Tips. I'm going to talk to you today is about a slow drain. A lot of people have slow drains and they just continue to get worse till they finally clog and you end up there with a bottle of drain cleaner or calling the plumber. One good way I found to prevent this in a home that I owned for a long time as I had problems with that is we cook a lot of spaghetti, you know, frying hamburger, grease. Sure, you don't pour the grease down the drain, you scrape it off throw it in the trash but then when you rinse the pans off that grease does go down the pipes a little film of grease that you think is nothing when it hits the cold pipes down in the basement in the crawl space it sets back up just like it is in the pan so what you want to do to prevent that is run hot water pure hot water make sure your tank is turned up good if not if you can't do that you can always boil a big pan of hot water and dump it down your drain and then chase it with your hot tap water and let it run for about five minutes. What you will do is dissolve that grease and keep it dissolving. I've actually done this on a slow drain and as the water runs, you might have to let it run for 10 minutes. It'll start flowing faster and faster because you're dissolving that grease that's down in your pipes. Much cheaper alternative to drain cleaners. And another tip is, use your garbage disposal as little as possible. A lot of the stuff you're putting in there could go into the trash. Stay away from celery. Celery will destroy your garbage disposal. I've replaced many of them over the years and people told me they were throwing celery into them. You don't want stringy vegetables and stuff to go in there. A lot of that you could put in the compost pile. If you don't have a compost pile, just throw it in the trash, put it to the street. Uh, people get over dependent on these garbage disposals but yes hot water simple solution to grease in your drains i like to run the hot water for like five minutes once a week just to keep my drain clear so i have time to spend more time in the garden growing the giant pumpkins these are my daughters 20 years ago with a 789 pound pumpkin i grew back in the late 90s and my niece claire so hey, I'd rather spend time in the garden. Come to WorldwideGiantGrowers.com. Get your seeds and needs and Mark's mixes. And stay tuned for Bubba's next home improvement tip. And keep it a secret, but go tell a friend. Bubba's giving home improvement tips.